Uh, next up, I've got Brian Neiman, founder and CEO of Sanguine Biosciences. Brian, why don't you come on in? Great to see you. Great to see you. How are uh, you? Good, good, good. Take a seat, grab the microphone, and uh, happy to have you joining us live in the Startup you've House been, Studio. How are you doing guy. today? Yeah. You've been busy. We, we've been talking to lots of people. Um, I, I'm amped just to understand just not just what people are building, but their motivations and um, ah, what, why we're doing what, what, get, we're doing. what gets them up every day, because that's really what's going to sustain it, okay? So, you're the founder and CEO of Sanguine Biosciences. Um, I've got a sense of what you do, because we've did a, done yep. a story in the magazine about you Absolutely. guys, but why don't you uh, explain exactly what you're up to for the sake of our audience? Yeah, so what we're doing is we're partnering with patients directly to accelerate precision medicine. And what that means is that we're working with them directly, uh, empowering them by leveraging their medical data in the form of medical records, uh, biospecimen, surveys, what have you, valuable data that's going to be critical for researchers and outcomes uh, in translational research, clinical trials. So patient data is really important and to access that information uh, really has been uh, uh, tough over the past 20 years uh, because you've had to go through physicians and hospitals and different uh, intermediaries to acquire that information. And now over the past few years, there's been a question of how has my data been used? Who's making a difference? Or the why, why is it being used? So we're going to, we're doing everything we can at Sanguine to help uh, uh, patients feel much more comfortable mm. uh, through transparency, ease of administration, making it easier for them to participate from home and collecting data from their physicians and making it available to researchers that are working on their condition. So if I'm a patient diagnosed with lupus, uh, I'm interested in helping further advance precision medicine for lupus. Okay. And so working with Sanguine helps me uh, essentially accelerate research for my career by putting that data in the hands of uh, Sanguine to put it in front of researchers so that they can use to accelerate research for the condition. Well, I appreciate you. They put it in a kind of a use case. So if I'm the patient with lupus and I want to be involved in sharing my data, right. uh, what does that look like? Am I taking part in a clinical trial? Yeah, uh, so, do I go somewhere? Yeah, so uh, the first thing you'll do is kind uh, come to our website and sign up, provide a kind of like minimal information about your diagnosis. Okay. And then if there's an opportunity for you to participate, then we'll collect medical information in the form of your records. Okay. Of course, you'll sign a medical record authorization form, a mm -hmm. consent form, uh, and you do that over the phone and be a electronic signature, yeah. we'll collect that from your physician and find a study that matches yours. So we'll we'll call you if there's a study as opposed to you having to go search for it. Okay, okay. And then um, do I go to a clinic? What, what do I do oh, to take there, part? from there, yeah. So uh, we have over 100 nurses and phlebotomists across the U.S. Oh, you do? Yeah, to, that will come to the comfort of your own home, collect your oh, blood, wow. and then deliver it directly to the researchers uh, same day, even sometimes. Okay. So that's a novelty of the company is that uh, it works both for both entities. Is that we're working with patients to uh, help accelerate research for their condition, but also researchers that want to work towards that progress yeah. uh, want the information as succinctly and as quickly as possible, and in terms of data, more normalized and mm -hmm. as much data about the individual as All possible. Right. So we, we help accelerate that process. So you're sort of solving two problems at yes. once. You're, you're inviting uh, patients to be more involved in clinical trials to offer their data to advance science, right. and then you're also bringing uh, users into the cl clinical trial. You're recruiting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're solving so, both problems. Yeah, so we're, it's the best way to say it is it's uh, transforming more into a platform okay. uh, where both users, the uh, researchers and the patient can go in and determine uh, which studies fit for them and which type of patients they want to enroll into their studies. Okay. So that's, uh, you know, the next uh, part of 2020. The last year we won a grant with the National Science Foundation. Oh, fantastic. To develop, yeah, thank you, um, uh, with uh, my colleagues, uh, Gerald my co-founder Gerald Lee and our chief technology officer Eric Lickerman and we won a grant to uh, develop a platform where researchers can come in and select which patients they want to enroll into a study. Nice. So this has accelerated the research process on that side. Nice. So. Uh, what else are you excited about coming into 2020? Like, well, what other things are coming up? Yeah, so we, um, uh, we launched that uh, uh, in beta form last year yeah. uh, to only six or seven clients. We have about another 50 clients we're going to roll that out to. Okay. And we've, uh, originally we only kept about 5,000 individuals diagnosed with lupus and rheumatoid arthritis on the platform. We're going to increase that to the 25,000 plus patients that are on our platform. Yeah. So if you're a researcher and you want to do a study, you can come to this a search tool. You'll identify individuals you want, create the study there, and then we'll get a notification that these are the patients you want. I understand that there yeah. are like, community managers in 
involved. Mm -hmm. And so if I have lupus and I'm involved in clinical trials, I'm also part of some kind of a community. Oh, yeah. What, what, what yeah, role is so, community, what does that play in all of this? Yeah, so uh, one thing that we pride ourselves on is that we have a fantastic team of study coordinators uh, that walk each of our individuals uh, throughout throughout the study, the patients. So yeah. um, there are specific individuals at our office that are focused on specific conditions. So uh, Viviana on our team is really focused on uh, autoimmune conditions. She's okay. working in lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, uh, Neelam has been working in sickle cell and other uh, rare conditions. So that those patients have a one point of contact they can go to to learn more about the study mm -hmm. and how they can participate in accelerate research for their condition. So we really have a high touch presence, yeah. uh, even though it's high tech and, and scalable. High tech, high touch, sounds good, awesome. Brian, well, I, I've loved learning about uh, Sanguine as we've done a couple stories in the magazines uh, and really feel like uh, you guys are solving the two problems at once, bringing people together for clinical trials and um, making data more actionable on both ends. Yep. So love it and um, thanks for coming down to the Startup Health Studio. Hope it's a great so festival for you. All right? Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Time.